You know, often when people hear that there's a place branding initiative going on, a city branding project going on, destination branding, immediately people want to point to, oh, we're getting a new logo and a tagline. And they think that, oh, we're just going to do this like McDonald's does or Nike does. No, you're not. I actually will uh, argue that place branding is the most difficult branding project on the face of the earth. Coca-Cola and Apple have it easy compared to the challenges with place branding. And there's three main reasons why it's very difficult. Number one, you don't own your name. Who owns your city name? Who owns your place name? The truth is either no one or everyone, right? You can't limit who's gonna use it. In fact, it happens all the time. It's how a lot of our reputation is built, right? Your name is used on the news. People have websites with your name about it. People have businesses that include your name. There's hospitals that might include your name. There might be a hubcap dealer or a tattoo parlor that uses your city name. You can't tell them not to use it, right? So strike number one, and maybe the most important part of a brand traditionally is having this unique name that you can own. And if, you know, McDonald's, if someone misuses it, you'll get sued. Someone misuses your name, which happens a lot, there's nothing you can do about it. Number two, why place branding is difficult. You don't have control of your product, huh? Could you imagine drinking Coca-Cola tomorrow and it tastes like lemonade? Not gonna happen, right? The reality is you don't have the control in the product consistency of your community. Uh, when someone says they visited your community, your next question probably is, where do they enter my community from, right? Who did, which, which road did they travel down? Who did they come in contact with, right? Depending on the answers to that, they, people will have a completely different experience because re, the, the real answer is there's, thousands of ways people can experience your community and none of which are the same. Pretty dynamic, right? Uh, kind of, so you, you don't have control of your name, you don't have control of your product. And then the number three is there's no top-down direction. I promise you Coca-Cola has someone at the top that says, this is how we're gonna market our company, this is what our product's gonna look like, and everyone will follow or they're gone. We can't do that as a community. You can't say everyone's gonna market our town this way, right? Or you're, it's not gonna happen. Right? We just want to work together with our, our normal organizations like our chamber, our city, our local government, our tourism, economic development. We want everyone to work together and even that's difficult, right? Let alone to make the entire community work together. It's not going to happen, right? So yeah, we don't own our name, we don't have control of our product, and we don't have top-down direction. It makes place branding very, very difficult. Now, the good news, the reality is everyone we're talking about is very proud of where they live. And so the key to great place branding is to tap into that pride. Why are people uh, proud of their community and what do they brag about? And how can we educate them on what it takes to brand a community and that it's not just a logo and tagline and it's not like Nike and McDonald's.